how would I go about raising awareness of my project, assuming I do care and I want to build a community or, you know, maybe someday monetize this open source project? What would be the first steps, assuming I figured out what my solution or what my project actually does? <laughs> uh, what's the next step in that process? Uh, right. Ned, you, you said monetize. Come on, man. That's the other dirty word, isn't it? it the it M is. words, the M words <laughs> in open source. <laughs> We we can talk about that in a moment, but first, I, like I'm just curious about the the first the first step after <laughs> going. Okay, I know what my thing does, or at least what people want it to do. Now, now, what do I do next? <laughs> right. So um, the the key is you have to tell people about it, and in fact, this actually comes before you figure out like what the best way to describe your product your project is. You you need to start talking to people about it. I mean, this should seem like fairly obvious, but in fact, it isn't like people sometimes think that they're just going to put something up on GitHub and it's just going to be magic and they don't have to talk about it at all. And th that isn't true. I mean, communication is it's everything. It could be just like sending an email to everybody, you know, who, you know, all your old colleagues or all your current colleagues who you think might use this project or um, putting something on social media or starting a medium blog or starting a you know a real blog or starting a website that for this project um but you have to you have to talk about it um you know whether that's in written form or going on podcasts or things like that um you have to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people too and that is how you're going to understand um what's resonating and what isn't so if you go on a podcast you're not going to get that um that feedback about whether or not the way that you're describing your project makes sense uh, in the same way that you do if you're talking with somebody, you know, one on one or, t you know, to two people and you're talking about the project. So, so one on one as in testing to make sure that your communication is getting across the message you're trying to get across. Exactly. So if you're having a conversation with somebody and you know they they meet the the general they're in this sort of general universe that uh, of somebody who would you would think of as as a user of someone who would get value out of your project um and they don't get it like if it's taking you like 15 20 minutes and they're st still kind of like Meh, don't really understand uh what what this is um that is that's a red flag i mean that means that you there's something that's that's not working about how you're describing this project uh, you don't want to have to tell them like oh go go check it out and and then we'll talk no i mean at, at the beginning that might happen but you you do want to be able to have them be almost immediately like oh yeah yeah that makes sense although that can be obscured by if it's a domain specific sort of a project like this is something that helps kubernetes do x and you maybe have an idea of what kubernetes is but if you're not into it i mean some of the domain specific projects around kubernetes that deal with some esoteric function you're like <laughs> i don't know but well, this this is why it's so important to know who you should be talking to because if that person I mean, you know, if you're talking to like your dry cleaner, they're not going to understand <laughs> what your open source project does. Obvious. Um, but if you're talking to somebody who you think should should be like a potential user, uh, they should understand. And, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's a domain spe specific because you should be like, we're only really talking to people who have that domain specific knowledge if you're doing it right. If you're thinking critically about, you know, who should be and who's who's a potential user and who isn't. Actually, I, I will I will add something here. Um, I notice when people talk about um, stuff like developer marketing and uh, things like that, I notice there's sometimes a tendency to talk about all software engineers as if they are like one homogenous mass. And uh, this is a mistake, obviously, because there's like so many different subdomains within software engineering that, yes, it is very easy to talk to another software engineer um, who still like is absolutely not a potential user for your project and will have no clue what you're talking about. Well, as in there's front end developers, back end developers, UI specialists, infrastructure specialists, and so on. Yeah. Networking specialists, security specialists, all sorts of, you know, 
their storage engineers and you know it's just it goes sort of on and on and on um and then we get into the thing with there's people who who are kubernetes experts people who never use kubernetes um so you just have to know like be clear about who your project is for and if you're talking to that person they need to understand if you're talking to someone who doesn't fit that that profile yeah they might not get it 